The executive order by President Donald Trump to ban the entry of refugees and citizens from seven Muslim-majority countries to the United States has affected the lives of thousands of people. One of those whose life and work is impacted by the order is the superstar of Iranian music, Gugush. She joins us now from London. Ms. Gugush, welcome to Euronews. A pleasure to be with you, dear friends and viewers. You're a green card holder and you live in Los Angeles. You're going to the U.S. tomorrow. Aren't you concerned that you might be detained or interrogated upon arrival? I have thought about it. Of course, I have been given assurances about this. In fact, I can say that I had exactly the same feeling 37 years ago, in 1980, when I travelled to Tehran from London, and I was expecting some unpleasant events, and my expectations became a reality. With the Islamic regime coming to power, my artistic activities had to stop. I was banned from singing for 21 years. A few days ago, when I had a phone conversation with my immigration lawyer, I had the same old feeling again. And I feared that I may again face problems at the airport. The United States is my second home, and my fear is that I may again be banned from entry because I'm Iranian and because I come from a Muslim family. How did you feel once you heard about President Trump's order? The same feeling that I may be driven out of my second home too. If I'm pushed out of my second home as well, then I will have to find a place to stay. My Schengen visa will expire in a few months' time. I can't go back to my first country either. If it happens again, I will be left standing alone in the middle of no man's land again. Ms. Gugush, thank you, and I wish you a safe journey with no problem at the U.S. airports. Thank you. I also wish that no human being's hopes and dreams get destroyed because they're stopped behind borders. But as they